In this video, we're going to focus on how to simplify rational expressions and rational functions. But let's take a moment to uh, go through the definitions of these three terms. Uh, so a rational number uh, is essentially just two numbers that are written together as a ratio or in fraction form. So for example, five over three is a rational number, one half is a rational number, uh, anything that can be written as a fraction, essentially, that has a numerator value and a, and a denominator value. A rational expression is same idea. It's a ratio, uh, but this time it's a ratio of polynomial expressions in the numerator and denominator. So something like 3x squared plus 5x minus 10 over, so there's the fraction or ratio part, uh, 2x minus three. Okay, so we've got a quadratic expression in this case in the numerator, and there's a linear expression in the denominator, but together it forms a rational expression. A rational function is similar to a rational expression, except it's written in function form. So for example, f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 5x minus 10 over 2x minus 3. This function notation would indicate that this whole expression, so numerator and denominator together, uh, would indeed be a function. It would pass the vertical line test on a graph. And we can also see here that the numerator by itself would be a function as well, and the denominator by itself would be a function. Okay, so rational function would be a fraction or a ratio of two polynomial functions. Okay, here's an example of a rational expression. Uh, so we've got a polynomial expression uh, in the numerator and a polynomial expression in the denominator. Uh, in this case, what we have is a monomial divided by a monomial. So one term divided by one term. And we want to simplify. Okay, so in order to simplify this, okay, let's divide piece by piece, so 48 divided by negative 8 is negative 6, x squared divided by x is x, and x to the exponent 4 divided by, sorry, y to the exponent 4 divided by y squared would be y squared. Okay? So this is the simplified version of this rational expression, but when we simplify rational expressions, we also want to state something called restrictions. And restrictions are getting values of any of the variables involved that cannot be used in this expression. Okay. Now, if we look at this uh, rational expression and specifically look at the denominator, we know that in any fraction or any rational number, any rational expression, the denominator cannot be zero. Because if the denominator was zero, then we would end up with an expression that was undefined because mathematically we cannot divide things by zero. And so for restrictions, we want to look at uh, what values of uh, x or y in this case would cause the denominator to be equal to zero. We do not want to include those x or y values because we do not want a denominator equal to zero. And so if we look at this denominator, if x was equal to 0, that would make the whole denominator 0 because it would be multiplied by everything else there. And so we do not want an x value of 0 to be used because it would make the denominator 0. We also don't want a y value of 0 to be used because if y was equal to 0, then again, our whole denominator would equal 0. So we don't want y equals 0. So when we state our simplified answer, for this rational expression, we're going to state the simplified answer as well as any restriction. Both of these two pieces together form our answer to this question. You can't have the simplified answer without the restrictions, and you can't have the restrictions without the simplified answer. The answer is together. All right, for this example, we want to state restrictions on the variables. And so again, restrictions would be any value of the variable that would make the denominator equal to zero. So we do not want the denominator equal to zero 
And so we say x minus 5 cannot equal 0. Then we want to see what values of x will make the denominator equal to 0. Those would be our restrictions. We do not want to use those values of x. So here, this would indicate that any any time x is 5, we're going to have a denominator that's equal to 0. And so we do not want x to be equal to 5. So this is our restriction. Here's an example where we're dealing with a rational function. And here we want to simplify and state the domain of f of x. Okay. Now, in order to simplify this expression that's on the right-hand side here, uh, we want to make sure that everything's in factored form first. This is very important. So we're going to factor both the numerator and denominator and see how that will help us simplify things. Okay, so if we factor the numerator, we're going to get 3x minus 4 times x plus 2. You can do a quick check. That should expand to 3x squared plus 2x minus 8. And in the denominator, 2x minus 5 times x plus 2. And again, that part should expand to 2x squared minus x minus 10. Okay. Now this makes our job of simplifying this expression much easier uh, because we can see here that there's a common factor in both the numerator and denominator. And so if we take x plus 2 and divide by x plus 2, that's equal to 1 because it's a number divided by itself. So now our function in simplified form is 3x minus 4 over 2x minus 5. Now remember, we have simplified this, but we do want to state any restrictions as well. So the restrictions here, this denominator, we do not want 2x minus 5 to equal 0, which means that we don't want x to equal 5 over 2, or 2.5. Now, that actually isn't the only restriction that we need to state. We have to go back all the way through the question and make sure that at any point in time, the denominator could not equal 0. So if we go back to the previous step, okay, 5 over 2 would make this factor equal to 0. We've already stated that as a restriction. But this factor here, if x plus 2 equaled 0, then this whole denominator would equal 0. And we don't want that. To happen. So we have to state this as a restriction as well. So we want to say that x cannot equal negative 2 because an x value of negative 2 would make this bracket here uh, equal to 0 and hence the whole denominator equal to 0. So we need to make sure that we state that in our restriction as well even if we've divided it out uh, as part of the simplification process. Okay. So here's our simplified answer and here is our restrictions that go along with that. We also want to state the domain, okay? and so the domain of this function, we know that any other x value is okay except for these two x values. So x cannot equal 5 over 2 and x cannot equal negative 2. So in set notation, that would be x is an element of all real numbers such that x does not equal negative 2 and x does not equal 5 over 2. So the bottom line here is if you have to simplify a rational expression or a rational function, you want to make sure that the numerator is factored and the denominator is factored first. Okay? Then see what simplifies. Write out your simplified form. Double check to make sure that nothing else can simplify any further. And state restrictions. Make sure that you go all the way back throughout the question to make sure that the denominator is never zero at any point in time in order to state those restrictions. Uh, and finally, for this example, we had to state domain as well.